YouTube, Topaz Yates back for another album review and this one is that Machine Gun Kelly Bloom and I'm giving this one the yellow light because honestly it's not as strong as previous projects that he had in the past like looking back at say Black Flag and all of that dude but yet you can't take away from the fact that you got some solid music on here as the basic concept here is this is Machine Gun Kelly blooming as an artist pretty much doing whatever he wants to do and this is why on almost every song here he's experimenting with other genres of music and that is nothing new to Machine Gun Kelly and stuff but not as often as he's doing it on this project and quite honest with you it works in some instances not so much for all of them I feel as though he's doing it the right way though because here's the thing what most people do is I'm just gonna go ahead and jump from genre to genre to genre to try to get all of these audiences to come in and listen to them and that ultimately makes everybody mad because you only made one song for that individual and they would have to go out and buy like a 10 track album so therefore it doesn't work but that's not the direction in which Machine Gun Kelly is taking him. What he's ultimately doing is applying himself to all of these genres. Instead of just trying to chase after money and all of that, he's trying to make the best song that he possibly can with the skills that he has at this moment and apply just a taste of these different genres and such. So I feel as though it can work and I feel as though he could do it on a much higher level, but this time it just wasn't that. Now before we start breaking down individual songs and such, man, you should definitely go ahead and check out my reviews for that at my best and that bad thing song because I reviewed both of those as individuals and this is all just gonna come together as a full review so let's start with the top man with my favorite songs off of this project with the gunner which is the intro and what I like about this is that high energy production and the way that he's setting off the album to begin with right here man well what he's doing is just ultimately spitting on this and this is the thing about Machine Gun Kelly much like a bunch of other acts sure he'll hit you with some good punchlines every so often he's just not the consistent with it. His ultimate strength is creating solid music by getting solid production, having excellent flow, excellent delivery, making overall quality music. And that's really personified with maybe the best wordplay out of that whole song here where he's saying his 22 is shooting like the Joker, his Harley Quinn got a choker, and then he only rolled with Suicide Doors and all that obvious world play geared towards that Suicide Squad movie that just came out and all that, which you can obviously tell this wasn't that good, but yet he at least makes an attempt. My next favorite song is that Moonwalkers, man, where this one is more just straight up raw hip-hop here, and I really like that mellow production on top, as this is just some straight up weed music right here, and he does deliver that with some potent balls as well saying how he always keeps quarters on him like he's trying to pay the meter which that was dope because once you break it down he's talking quarters in order to pay like a parking meter you always need change in order to do that but he's ultimately talking about quarter bags of marijuana and such to smoke like that was pretty solid but yet he follows that up with some subpar balls as well this is where the not being consistent with the balls come into play like when he's ultimately telling us what he means by moonwalkers where he's referencing Michael Jackson and moving backwards while rolling up backwards like that was pretty cool wordplay but yet nothing really that potent about that there. My next favorite song was Rehab where what he's ultimately doing here is like a rock blend with his style which it comes off rather solid because I really like that production where well, what he's ultimately talking about is a broken relationship that he has with this woman and he's ultimately reflecting on it like okay why did things go wrong was it the drugs and the alcohol and everything that we was doing but he came to the conclusion that relationships are always up and down and such like this so there's really no need for rehab there it's just ultimately that's how relationships work and I feel him to a degree there I mean honestly what I don't feel him is how you trying to deal with addicts and all that stuff. You should never deal with anybody who gets high and stuff all the time, especially in a relationship. But yet, when it comes to relationships, dude, they're always painful. No matter how good you try to be, no matter how bad you try to be, man, it all comes full circle. And my last favorite song happens to be the last song off this project, that 27. Well, what this is, is ultimately him reflecting on his successes and everything that he's done. So if he dies right now at age 27, 
27, you realize that he gave people everything that he had and that he really delivered a whole bunch of good music. And when you look at all of the projects that he's dropped, he dropped like 11 mixtapes and 3 albums and such, man. Those is veteran numbers right there. And he definitely has done his thing. As he's also talking about due to this amount of material that he's consistently put out and all that, man, he's lacking in motivation and lacking in inspiration. And that's honestly what comes with the territory. When you're doing something for quite so long, man, then you have to switch it up. You have to continue to try to get better. You have to do something new or else people will lose interest, you will lose interest, you will fall off completely. But those are the few songs that worked, man. But there's a good selection of ones that really didn't like that Wake and Bake. In that song, Machine Gun Kelly is trying to channel the blues and all that, man. And it really just does not pan out for the whole Wake and Bake scenarios. The songs Trap Paris and Golden God is obviously him talking about trap music and all that. He's trying to apply the trap genre to his music and it really didn't pan out there either. Songs like Can't Walk is ultimately him just doing straight up experimental music and that just was one of the worst songs off this point blank period. So Machine Gun Kelly is swinging and missing a whole lot on this project man but the times that he does hit he does really well with them joints man and that's why I'm giving this joint man a 6 out of 10 but a quick recap here man the pauses that I'm taking from this is the fact that he is experimenting and he's doing it the right way by not just chasing after all of these genres but ultimately staying Staying true to himself and just adding sprinkles of these other genres on top of it. While the negatives is, it's just not as strong as say his previous material. But still a pretty good listen man. I recommend people to go ahead and cop some individual tracks up off of it. But this concludes today's review man. And now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Maniac. Before we jump into the news and then jump into an article from DownloadPaz.com. just dropped, man, and coming in number one overall with 247,000 units sold and such, man, is Logic, in which that's dope. I kind of had that expected because Logic's just core following is rather solid, man. And looking at these numbers, you got to break it down too. like, a lot of these numbers come from streams, so it's not actual units sold. But he sold literally close to like 191 100,000 units sold, dude. While at the same time that Kendrick Lamar album has gone certified platinum, which big congratulations to both of those guys, man. They definitely doing their thing. But anyway, on today's article from DownloadPass.com, and today's article is about training people because here's just a big mistake that individuals make, especially when you get into the music industry, is you try to put people that's around you in positions that they're just not qualified for, or you just go out and try to splodge and get somebody that's ultimately experienced that's going to charge you an arm and a leg to do anything and such, man. Because one, you're going to be overpaying for these individuals that honestly should know what they're doing, but you don't actually know if they know what they're doing, one. And two, they could ultimately steal from you because you believe they know what they're doing, so you're not going to check and do anything with them. But when you put people in these positions that just aren't qualified for them, man, you end up losing out on opportunities. You end up falling because these people don't know what they're doing at all. So you should definitely find the middle ground of okay instead of getting me these super expensive people I'm gonna take some people that don't know what they're doing and teach them and bring them along slowly in order to put them in this position in many cases that's like the best of both worlds and the best that you can hope for is actually bringing up somebody who can actually fill into this position and actually do well I hope you enjoyed the show you can follow me at Twitter up there and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.